We just got some big news announced. At the start of today's discussion video, I'm going to be talking about Slash Rail because a few hours ago, Slash Rail made a tweet saying, starting tomorrow, Slash Rail. Now, this has left the community feeling a bunch of different emotions because on one hand, a lot of people are excited for Slash Rail, but on the other hand, people are nervous because what happened last time when there was Slash Rail? Of course, we got the new level added to the game. So a lot of people are worried, does this mean level 16 is coming soon. But in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about are the details of what you need to know for Slash Rail, when it's going on, and all the rewards you can get too, because they're also giving out a rewards alongside having the upgrade cost being cheaper. But as you guys can see, everyone in the comments saying, does this mean level 16? Uh, in case the devs are thinking about it, level 16 is a bad idea. Level 16 is coming, so a lot of people are expecting this might mean a new level or there's a catch coming with the addition of this. So we're going to get more into that later if that's the case. But let's first talk about the rewards and the event details for Slash Royale. Okay, guys, on News Royale, here we go. We got all the event details. News, August Gold Festival. Join the August Gold Festival from August 5th to 12th. Gold will rain on the Kingdom's Grounds. Three events happening simultaneously. Upgrade discounts, extra gold, and milestone rewards. That's gold. Here's what's coming. Slash Royale. For the entire week, upgrading your cards will cost you half the gold. There's also a gold rush. Fancy some extra gold? Then time to destroy some towers. Earn up to 120,000 gold depending on your arena level. Here's the daily gold you can earn during the event. Arena 1 to 4, 5,000 gold. 5 to 7, 10,000 gold. 8 to 10, 15,000 gold. Arena 11 or higher, 20,000 gold. Milestone event. If you spend gold, you earn rewards. It's that simple. Check out the list of milestones and rewards. 5,000 gold, you get a gold chest. 10,000 gold, you get 500 random common cards. 20,000 gold, you get 5 chest keys. 50,000, you get 100 random rare cards. 100,000 gold, you get a magical chest. 200,000, you get 50 random epic cards. 300,000, you get a giant chest. 450,000, you get 3 legendary wild cards. 600,000, a royal wild chest. And 750,000 gold, you get a legendary king's chest. There you have it. Ready to make it rain? Then it's time to battle. See you in the arena, the Clash Royale team. So all of this looks pretty good, but the question is that a lot of people are asking, and it's going to be a conversation probably that continues for a while, is there a catch with Slash Rail coming? I guess we will have to see. And actually, one of the Clash Rail devs has already spoken out about that on Twitter, which we can take a look at now. So Oku, who is the new community manager for Clash Rail, she made a tweet here and said, not an indicator for level 16, no hidden agenda. So I guess this basically confirms it. There's a 99% chance level 16 is not coming to the game at least anytime soon. But looking at some of the replies here, some people are bringing up good points and there's still kind of a tiny bit of an issue with this Slash Royale event. Will there be another way to spend gold to receive the milestone event rewards it's, it's impossible to spend 750,000 gold for players with all level 14 cards so people that already have their cards at 14 there's not an adequate way to spend gold is what he's saying so people that have stuff leveled up are kind of getting punished in a way with this event because they're not really able to participate and get those milestone rewards this guy said here if you inevitably add level 16 in the future can you at least make it come with something cool agree i will be vocal about this when the time comes how am i supposed to spend gold if all my cards are already at level 14 why not slash elite wild cards and this is a good idea can the agenda be to slash the cost of elite wild cards to make a card level 15 so this might be a good solution for the players that are already maxed include half price for the elite wild cards so that way players that are maxed can participate in this just like everyone else overall though guys i think this slash rail event is a very good thing and i think the community is very excited assuming level 16 doesn't come like the community manager has said and if they fix that issue for players that already have most of their cards at level 14 then i think this will be perfect and is the exact type of hype the game needs more often let's get into what's been going on inside of clash rail reddit now should i buy this offer i know it's expensive but it would
would really help out with progression. Oh my gosh, this has a ton of upvotes. So basically it's one gigantic offer that is basically $15,000. And I guess if you buy it, it pretty much would probably max you out. I mean, look at everything you're you're getting. I mean, this is just ridiculous. What happens if I zoom in here? Oh, that makes it way too large. But basically, you can see it has everything you need in the game. I mean, there's even a bunch of gems included, an absurd amount of gold. So this would probably max you out for $15,000. The crazy thing is, it might actually be good value because in order to max yourself out nowadays, I wonder how much time and money it would take. I mean, it would save you a lot of time, I feel like, to just buy this offer because it's like you're basically maxing yourself out for $15,000. But at the same time, it kind of takes the fun away of playing yourself and progressing when you're just getting it instantly. So I kind of have mixed feelings about this. And let's be honest, 99.9% .9 of people playing the game wouldn't be able to afford an offer like this times 69 value though, but it's pretty, it looks pretty fun though. And it's a pretty funny idea. And it would be hilarious if they actually put something like this in the shop special offer, but it's reversed. I feel like most of the posts on Clash Royale Reddit nowadays have to do with the offers. At least it seems that way. So basically you spend basically your resources and you're getting money so this is five champion wild cards and you're getting ten dollars and then if you do five legendary you're getting five a hundred common five dollars a thousand rare five dollars bro this would actually be really funny they should do this as an april fool's joke like have this in the shop and then when someone clicks on it and they think they're gonna get money there's just a big pop-up that says april fools or something honestly that would be hilarious it would it would piss a lot of people off though but I, <laughs> it would be funny at the same time, just, you know, knowing Clash Royale, they wouldn't give money like that. So it would just be, it would just be really ironic if they did that. Let's see what we got here. Another tower troop concept balance. These tower troop ideas are always interesting to look at on Reddit. I feel like people make really creative ideas that I could actually see implemented in the game. I don't know about this though, elixir storage. So it's basically from Clash of Clans and it basically generates elixir it seems interesting we got to see the stats of it though so the hit points it seems like is a typical tower troop i mean maybe it has slightly more i i don't know 5000 how that compares i guess it would be more than the princess tower for sure yeah it would have the most amount of hit points so probably the most toxic tower troop this tower tr deals no damage but to compensate has more health and generates elixir at the same rate as the elixir collector Okay, this would be very interesting. I feel like it would be very, very bad though in single elixir. I feel like basically whenever you're against this tower troop, you just go all in at the beginning because you know it deals no damage. So if you essentially can get a good push going in single, it would suck. But then it's like if you hold off until double or triple, it could actually be really solid. And double and triple elixir, when you're getting all that extra elixir, you can play stuff down so frequently. I can't even tell if this would be broken or if it would be bad. It's pretty interesting though, to say the least. Well, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed already, you can also use creator code BOSS to support me in any Supercell game. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Slash Rail event coming up. Are you guys excited? Are you gonna be participating and trying to upgrade as many cards as possible? Also, let me know what you think about the other things I talked about later in the video. And thanks again until next time, guys.